Welcome to this Excel quickie where I'm going to show you how to easily work with large spreadsheets that have a lot of data and a lot of different worksheet tabs. This is especially important if changing one tab affects another tab, which it probably will. So let's say I've got lots of data here and I want to see what happens to worksheet two when I change this one. Well, easy peasy. Go to the View tab. There are so many awesome options on here. Spend a lot of time looking at it to make sure, make sure that your workflow is as good as it can be. But the one for today is to click New Window. Now, before I click this, look at this workbook. It says Book 1. I haven't saved it yet. Dash Excel. When I click New Window, what that's going to do is open up another copy of this workbook. It's the same workbook. It'll be one workbook, just two versions. So look at Book 1. I'm going to click New Window. It goes off the screen a little bit here, but I'll go back to that in a moment. You see book one dash one, and it has now opened up another window, book one dash two. So I now have two windows. They work independent of one another. This isn't scrolling the same worksheet tab and tracking rows and columns. They are completely separate, but if I make a change in one, it changes the other one. It hasn't made two files. It's just two different views. Now what you want to do after this, so I always do new window and then arrange all. Go down here and you can choose how you want your Excel windows to be arranged. Tiled, horizontal, vertical, cascade. Usually, at least for me, I choose a vertical. And another very important option, if you've got lots of files open and you only want to view this workbook's windows next to each other, choose Windows of Active Workbook. Then hit OK. Now. I am recording a screen that is a lot bigger than this resolution, so bear with me while I fit it back on here. This is what it's going to look like on your screen. It'll fit it full screen, and you can see over here on the left, I can be in data one. Over here on the right, go to data two. Let me change something over here and watch worksheet one. So it's a great way to monitor changes. All the numbers in row two changed. Same if I do it down here, row three and I can see the effect that it has. It makes working with them so much easier. And a cool little thing also, if you want to open up more windows, so not just this workbook, when we go to Arrange All, if you have this unchecked and it opens up a lot of different windows, when you bar line it, at least in Office 365, when you bar line one of the windows, the others will expand to fill the gap. So it's a really cool little feature. I love it, and this is just the same file, you just get two views that work independent of one another. You can change the zoom in one. It won't affect the other one. It's awesome. So you just go to the View tab, New Window. It's going to copy this workbook in a new window, and then Arrange All to very quickly have it arranged on your desktop.